Yo, what up, YouTube? What up, boxing fans? We all know Adrian Bronner's date to fight next is February 16th, but he still lacks an opponent. The word is they're gunning for Ricky Burns. The only issue is Ricky Burns is looking to fight in January because his last opponent pulled out. Now, I'm sure HBO is willing to put up big money to see Burns scrap that and take on Adrian Bronner in a lightweight unification. I know we would all love to see that fight, but this is what Adrian Bronner had to say about uh, Ricky Burns and and his motivation to fight Adrian Bronner. Uh, he he still uh, confirmed that February 16th is still the date. You know, uh, still trying to get Ricky Burns to sign on the dotted line. Adrian Bronner said, they're trying. He don't want to fight me. You know, what, you, you know what it is. He's trying to milk the game. He knows after he fights me, he's not going to be shit. <laughs> Even though he's a world champion, a world-class fighter, I, I know all of that. But at the end of the day, man, I'm taking this boxing shit over. Uh, then, then he was uh, asked if Richard Abril might be the backup plan. Adrian Bronner had this to say, if any Ricky Burns... I don't want to fight anybody else in the division. What are they going to do for me? If I fight a Brill, I knock him off. I just beat a beaten fighter. If I fight Miguel Vasquez, they like, I had more skills. I was more powerful. He's not going to do nothing for me. Uh, the only fight for me at lightweight right now is Ricky Burns. So, um, you know, that is the most lucrative fight. And the fight with the most prestige. Overall, um, he was also asked by 2013, around the end, does Adrian Barr see himself moving up to 140? This is what he had to say. I'm going to stay here at 135, just beat up on everybody, man. Let him talk some more shit. <laughs> Keep giving me bills. It really don't matter. I'll fight them all. I don't give a fuck. I'm already the champion in this weight class, so I'll just start fighting people at Catchweights. Rios at 138, we can meet. I'll, I'll fight him at 140. I don't care, man. I'm so impatient. <laughs> I'm so impatient. But honestly, there's no need for me to do that. Anybody I fight, they're going to watch me because it's me. They're going to pay me because it's me. <laughs> and because he keeps knocking people out, man. Spectacular right hand. Left hook. He's got all the skills to be top fighters at 140. Uh, interesting question. How far do you think you are from making that leap to pay-per-view. Next year, man. That's what Adrian Brown had to say. Next year is my year. You know, it's money may all day. Then it's A.B. Fasho. <laughs> you know what I tell him? This is Fasho money. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what the fuck that means. But um, overall, you know, Adrian Bronner, in my opinion, and you like it or not, I believe he's got the skills and the talent and the charisma to be the next HBO pay-per-view star and I'm not the only one saying it for now Ricky Burns might be ducking but if he signs on a dotted line he's gonna be paid handsomely to lose to Adrian Bronner and I think that's a good move it is what it is guys peace out take care